Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my second part of this unofficial monster spotlight. Um, last time I made, bas I basically made a spotlight using my friend's Light Gemini, and I basically just tested out a team. This is like a theoretical team that I I've been trying to put together. Um, that might work for players that basically are playing like they. I won't wouldn't say it works really well for like new players, but for Players that have been kind of stuck in the mid game and want to progress in into Golden's B10, like you've been farming Golden's B7, 8, and 9 for a while, but you're you're looking to break into B10. Um, I think this is a, actually a pretty good idea. There's actually no reason for any player to farm B10 unless you can farm it really, really fast because you can basically still get six star gems and you can get the same quality gems that you can like that B10 drops in B7, 8, and 9. It's just that the drop rate is slightly worse than B10. B10 actually has the highest drop rate for like 6-star gems. Um, B10 also has, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but um, I've, I've heard that B10 also has a higher drop rate for gems with more substats. But I, I might be wrong about this, so you can, you know, if you... I, I, I won't tell you to correct me if I'm wrong, because you'll, you'll, you'll do it anyways, alright? You'll, you'll do it anyways. Um, so, what I have here is my, my friend one eye patch. You know, this is the same light Gemini I showed in the last video. Um, but this time he actually maxed out his gems. This is completely maxed. This is a this is like this is like um unless you have like all HP subs. Actually he does have he has 1500 HP and then 750. So he has like one roll of HP, like two rolls of HP here on a six star gem. Um, and this this one has like 21% crit rate. So yeah she actually has a this one has crit rate as well. Has a little bit of resist and defense, so yeah, this is definitely a pretty good light Gemini. I think I'd say like it's actually pretty nice. Um, she has a little bit of crit rate. Like her attack's not too too high, but you know if you have like a little bit of crit rate, it actually helps in your. Um, you know sometimes you can actually crit and do a little bit more damage to the the golems and stuff. So that's actually not too bad. But the the, good, the really good thing is she has almost um, 12k HP. Wait, no, no, 120k HP. Um, I'm bad at math, all right. I'm very bad at math. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll you'll know how horrible I am at math. I basically like true story. I actually f dropped out of my first college after failing calculus twice. That's how bad at math I am. Um, all right, so she she's really good because she has that adrenaline skill. She also has a really nice attack down. Um, she lands this on the golem, basically just makes him hit like a wet noodle. So yeah, it's, it's definitely really, really nice. So I just wanted to test this out. Now, the other thing I, I tested out is I basically maxed out my, um, my Water Miho and the second Light Victoria. The last time I did this video, she was only... What the, oh my god, she disappeared. She was only Evil 2, and now I got her to Evil 3, as well as I maxed out her gem. So she's on a full protection set on plus 15. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, like, holy shit, you have, like, really, really good gems, I just want to say that B10 is not for... Um, it's, it's not for you to go into with like plus 12 gems and stuff. It's not even for you to go into with like, like, it, for most of these monsters that only require one stat, it's better that you actually have a set on them. So like for defense aggressors, you want to have like, like the protection set. Um, for, you know, HP based passive healers, you want to have the life set. And then for like your attacker, which is going to be your sapper, you want to have like the, the, um, the valor set as well to like just basically maximize everything as much as possible. So... Um, I just I just want to I just want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. You know, keep in mind that you you will need to basically max out most of everything. I also max out her gems. These two aren't really good gems, but I decided to just max them out for the sake of this video. I mean, I had a little bit of gold to spend, so you know, just for you guys, I I maxed her out. I also got her fully skilled up as well, so she's going to be doing a, quite a lot of damage um, because when she's when she's skilled up, she actually has like a 20% extra bonus damage with her first skill. And I think a, about, she has an extra 20% because this is 60 plus 20, so she has an 80% chance to sap, as well as having a, um, I think, I think it's like 15 extra percent in damage. So it's actually really, really high. So she's able to hit really, really hard now. Um, she also has almost 7k attack, so that's definitely not too bad. She doesn't have really high base attack, but if you give her a lot of attack and then plus these skill books, she will be able to do quite a lot of damage. So I basically gemmed her with triple attack, making sure she hits as fat or as as hard as possible. Why did I say as fast as possible? I've been farming too much. I've been speed farming way too much. Um, this is my last light Victoria. Now, you probably don't have um, Siphon on her, but I basically I, I put Siphon on her because I, I was using her to farm. Um, I don't think it really matters too much. If you... 
like this one's not even maxed out like so she actually has lower base defense a lot lower base defense than my second light victoria i don't think it really matters if she gets she really gets her bar full um if you have like 1k more defense you basically do more damage it's all about it's all about really just like one shotting the the monsters at wave one you'll see like um the other monsters get their bars full really really fast after you know um after i kill a few units so I'm just going to go in with this team right now. I actually spent five minutes explaining what this team was about um, and the the kind of the concept and strategy behind this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using three light units to basically split tank. So the three of them are going to split up the light monster's damage. And the sapper, since she is water-based, um, the none of the dark units will attack her. So I basically build her full attack like she's never going to get hit. And we're just going to go in and we're going to try this out, all right? Gotta make sure to start the auto so you guys, you guys can see the time. I did a test yesterday. I also did a test with another um, Light Gemini that wasn't maxed out. It didn't work as well with the non-maxed out Light Gemini. But um, when I did the test yesterday with this team, with the with the maxed out Light Gemini, it's actually uh, very, very stable. Like, it's super stable. Yeah, as you can see, they do quite a lot of damage with maxed out gems. Now, Meal is hitting 3k a hit. Alright, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to try to try to clear this clear this with AoE. And then, um, I'm going to see, oh, wait, 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 this is, this is going to be quite a lot of damage. Alright, that's actually pretty nice. Well, it's not too good that she actually wasted a, an AoE doing that. I think once one of them gets their AoE up, it's actually a lot easier for the other ones to get their AoE up as well. Um, now, I think... Well, I've never seen that animation. I actually haven't used her yet. That, that was super cute. That, that, that animation was super cute. Alright, moment of truth. We're gonna use this against the golem. Um, two of them has their bars up, but I don't know. Oh yeah, it actually kills the side unit. The 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 one on the right side um, doesn't have a lot of HP, so it's very likely for you to basically like kill it quite fast. Now, I think some people were concerned um, with me using just one healer for golem's V10, but the the really good thing about like running a team like this is it's you have to pass a certain damage threshold where you can basically kill the golem fast enough that your your sustain doesn't matter. Because I know that like if the fight drags on for like 10 minutes long, um, I'm gonna die eventually. Like something's gonna die eventually. But if I if I have sap, like I have a full attacker built on sap plus two light aggressors that are fully maxed out, um, I basically have enough damage to just like straight out straight out murder this boss. Yeah, I think it's super stable, in my opinion. Um, now, another thing I wanted to point out is, like, you know, I, not not everyone has, like, two Light Victorias. I think what might work is if you have, like, a Light Coco that's fully maxed out. Now, some people might be concerned with the, like, not being able to s sustain the Light Coco. But the thing with, like, Light Aggressors, um, or HP Aggressors, is that if you basically like put them on full HP they're actually they actually have higher effective HP than defense aggressors because defense aggression or de not defense aggression but like um, defense in general has a diminishing return while HP does not um, what that what this means is like the more defense that you actually have you know it, there's like a certain percentage of damage mitigation uh, with defense and basically the, the higher your defense goes the less you get like per per point of defense um, so basically, you're losing out on potential like effective HP when you're stacking it, like when you're basically stacking um, full defense on a unit. But this doesn't happen with HP with stacking HP because HP is just a flat amount. So when you're when you're gemming up a monster with triple HP, the triple HP monster is actually tankier than the um, than a monster on on triple defense. So the thing with the light Gemini is like even if she's the one getting hit, 
um, it doesn't really matter because she can. It doesn't even matter if she can sustain herself because she already has higher effective HP than the Light Victoria, so she can already take more damage than the Light Victoria. And the other thing is like you just want your other units to be able to do as much damage as possible, you know, with the Water Miho and stuff to make sure they they actually die in time um, for your your like in, like before they actually have any um, potential to like you know have any threat on your team so that's that's basically it so you know maybe I'll when I when I have some free spare resources I'll I'll raise a light Gemini myself and also raise a like Coco I'm definitely raising a light Gemini just for just for um just because lolly all right just because lolly that's that's basically it anyways um, that's that's all I wanted to show in this video um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out